Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. It's Mary. How are y'all doing? It's Sunday evening, and I have some helpers here, and they want some of the trick-or-treat treats that I have. <laughs> the doggies are trick-or-treating. This is their doggies. These are all my helpers. They're furry friends. Uh, they're crazy about doggy treats. Come here, Bear. Come here. Let me see the camera. Come here, Sheila. I want y'all to see Sheila. Come here, Sheila. Sheila, you gonna be good? Uh, see my y'all. I don't know what it is about these dogs, y'all, but they are just like, I don't know. They just make my heart sing. So they've been helping me all afternoon, and because they've been being so good. Hi, Amy. Hi, Kim. I had to. I had to give them a few treats y'all out of the little uh, pumpkin treats. Hi, Leticia. How are y'all doing tonight? Hey, Tick. I hope y'all are doing good. So, Hi, Debbie. Connie and I have been working like crazy people taking photos Hi, and getting ready. And Debbie, is Debbie Barberi on here? She is. And so okay. is Tick. Hi, Hi Ashley or uh, Debbie. Can either one of y'all go and grab the link? There's two of them out there. Hi, in, Wanda. Under paint parties. I just put them out. So, we have some, I think. I've been kind of showing everybody. We've got a new machine, and so what that means is we've been playing a lot, although my machine has been acting up lately. Mm -mm. But I think, y'all, honestly, it's just a product of me learning and not really knowing a whole lot about what I'm doing. Hi, Victoria, Joanne, and Angelica. How are y'all doing? Hope everybody's doing good. So I'm painting. <clears throat> Actually, I'm getting ready for a paint party, and I'm gonna show y'all we just opened up two new paint parties today. And this is how simple that they're gonna be. There's even if you feel like you can't paint, if you're local, come and join us. Sheba, Sheba are you trying to eat that? She's so <laughs> mad because I don't have any more treats. Come here, Sheba. See, no treats, that's just paint. It's okay. And uh, so Hi, if, Marilyn. if you don't feel like you can paint, you can come to this paint party and be successful. I'm gonna show you in just a second. How, yeah, all I did is I had uh, Paula actually base coat these for me, and uh, I'm just going to show you in a minute. It's for a sure. 3D indoor party, meaning this is an indoor design. And just a few times, the little bit that I've been on with you guys tonight, feeding my dogs, talking with Connie, I'm almost done with this project except for adding the 3D parts. Okay, I'm going to tell you what that means. I'm going to show you what that means here in a minute. So, I've been out in my paint room today doing all kinds of pretty, pretty stuff. Oh, I got a little bit crazy with that. So this is a triple stack pumpkin, and uh, I've had, I can't remember, one or two parties already with it. Maybe two, I can't remember. All. And um, the guys that were here, I had a party just the other day, and they really, really enjoyed it because it's really, really easy. Hi, Nancy Dalton. And I see uh, Connie's got everybody telling me hi to everybody. So hi, everybody. Connie's actually my camera person tonight. So I'm not seeing the comments, but I can hear her saying hi to everybody. So. Hi, Miss Victoria. All I did was put a few brush strokes on this, okay? This is actually a shelf sitter. I think it's 29 inches tall, I think. Now, here's the cool part. So this is my wire frame, <clears throat> and these parts come out. So I'm gonna take these parts out like this. Dang. So we got a new machine, and so these are cut on a laser. And a laser has the ability to do a lot more detail work than what our CNC can do. So this is what I call the frame, or the wire frame. Now this is going to come right on top of this in just a minute. But I'm going to let this dry for just a second. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. I do a little bit of super glue. And uh, you've got to be quick about this part if you don't want it to dry on you before you can get it down. Now, I don't do every single part. Uh, I don't put it I'm on normal. every single one. But okay. I just kind of make sure I do it on the outside and on every other one. Now, guys, if I get this part down right, then the rest of my project is gonna go very smoothly. Hi, Crystal. If I don't get this part down right, then the rest of my project is not gonna go smooth. And here, I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. Okay, so we gotta get this right. This has to be right. This is really the hardest part. <laughs> and if I don't get my frame right, then my inserts are not gonna fit. And how I know I'm getting my 
my frame right is I'm using my fingers to make sure that this frame is exactly perfect Hi, Paula. on the base that I have. And you can see what the frame adds a lot to it. All you do, all we really do is base coat these colors and then a couple of swipes of with the paintbrush. That's it. it. There's not a lot to it. Joanne said, looks like you're making lots of new stuff with your machine. I am. I tell you, it's been a learning curve and uh, I'm at the frustrating part right now because for like a week I was rocking and rolling and everything was coming out perfect and the last three days things have not been coming out well. So I've had a lot of tech support. Yes, uh, Friday and even up till Friday night. And I thought I had it, y'all, but no can do. Now, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna, I'm not ready to give up, y'all. It's Paula's anniversary of following you, I think is what it means. Oh, it says anniversary okay. follower Paula Martinez. Okay. Oh, hey Paula, how are you? So I have these inserts, right? They're all painted separately. It gives your project a 3D, kind of a, a 3D dimensional uh, effect, if you will. Now, I can tell my, uh, my insert's gonna be a little stubborn. It doesn't wanna go in because of how much paint I've got on those edges. Now y'all know me. <laughs> as they say. Yes, we do. Yeah, as they say, we fit in the show at who's the boss. Y'all know what that means? We're gonna make this work. So I put a little bit of super glue there. Crazy glue, super glue, whatever, quick glue, whatever you wanna call it. And it's wanting to go in good there. So. Look at you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm scared Bear. Come here, Bear. Let everybody see. Here's my camera. This is Bear, y'all. She's my oldest dog. She's 14. She's uh, okay, she's all right. So these are my all my helpers, y'all. They, you know how your helpers are. All Mary's doggies. I know. They're so ridiculous. Bruce tells me I'm ridiculous about my dogs. Well, I probably am, but that's okay. They are my pups, and. Um, there, I get a lot of companionship from them. I think this goes this way, y'all. Now, the cool thing about this design is all of the holes that I have. There we go. Miss Victoria says you need a bigger hammer. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she might be being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, I, it, when you get a lot of paint on these edges, sometimes you have to really get that uh, Hi, rubber mallet and you have to kind of show it who, honestly, on this part, I probably wouldn't even have to use a whole lot of um, glue because they're so uh, Miss, hard to get those inserts in. Miss Nan said that this is cute without the inserts, even it if is. you decided it not is. to use, yeah, if use you them. Yeah, if you don't want to use them, you definitely, definitely don't have to. The inserts? I wonder. Oh, Lord, y'all, I got too much on there. Okay, here we're going to go. Here we're going to go. Okay. Joanne okay. said you have really pretty fur babies. Uh, I know. They're my babies. Bruce is always telling me, you're so ridiculous over those dogs. Whatever. They follow me every step I make all day, y'all. That's because I baby them. And I give them treats. They are crazy, crazy, crazy for treats. About these things. This is yeah. where we all go broke in this household. Yes. We all buy these for all of our dogs. It's ridiculous. Missy, they should give you like a, what is it, a sponsorship? Like an affiliate or something, right? Because <laughs> uh, I'll tell the dogs, look, I have to work if y'all want doggy treats. Because somebody's got to pay for those doggy treats. All right, I'm going to put this insert. And this one, I can tell, it's got a lot of paint on it. There we go. Tell me if y'all are having trouble seeing or if y'all need a different angle or, or what would help. All right. I'm just putting a little glue on here. Mm -hmm. And of course, the cool thing is you can paint any of these the color you want. I, I tend to, I don't use black a lot, honestly, on fall stuff, but I decided that that's kind of the way I wanted to go okay, with this one. So, um, that's the way I went with it. We did a party with these the other day, and I had a lot of them do browns on this uh, wire frame and on the inserts and they turned out good. Now, all the holes that are out of my inserts, the uh, idea here is you just put them anywhere you think they're going to look good. 
Even if you don't feel like you can paint very well, you can tell so much of this gets covered up because uh, by the time you put your inserts over it, by the time Kim you said put, she likes it without the inserts. Yeah, and if you don't like, if you don't want the inserts, the inserts make it really dark. That's mm. for sure. And Wanda wants to know, can you buy the finished set? I have. Um, I have not. I will not sell these finished, Wanda. But that's a good question. I am going to sell the blanks. Okay. I don't have enough bandwidth to sell them as finished items. There's not enough hours in the day to do that. So that's why I won't do it. But what we find is everybody likes them. And so if y'all buy them as blanks, yeah. I'm quite sure you'll have an easy time selling these. Yes. And they're not hard to paint. Yes. The idea here is there's not, a, there's not a whole lot uh, to painting as far as the degree of difficulty. We had a party the other day where uh, 10 ladies did these who I don't, uh, maybe one or two had painted before, but by and large, most of them had not. And every one of them went home very, very happy because they felt very successful. Uh, and that's because that's the best. Uh, it's a 3D project and that makes it look a little bit better than, um, it makes it look a little bit more interesting. Hi, Terry. Miss uh, Victoria said she's mad because you had a paint party and she didn't get to help uh, you. Hey, Victoria, I, Debbie came to visit that day. She was, she did not know that I was going to put her to work. <laughs> she just, uh, well, actually she came to get some stuff from the stores that she had bought. And I said, hey, you want to help me? And she's like, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Miss Debbie said she helped you. <laughs> so, mistake. <laughs> Debbie, Debbie uh, kind of got roped into it. She was like at the wrong place at the wrong time. Kim wants to know, can she buy these blanks yet? They are not listed yet, but Kim, I promise you I'm working on that. Yes. Do I'm we know going. when, maybe Tuesday, uh, Monday? They or? won't be until probably closer to the end of the week. But okay. what I will do is I'll make a post. Okay. Okay. Now, because I'm in a hurry, I'm always in a hurry. You don't have to do this part. I'm only doing this because I'm in a hurry. I want this thing. <laughs> I'm just going to get out of here. Now, let's see if I'm smart enough to use this. Because usually Bruce uses this thing. Oh, good. No, this is a pen nailer, and in fact, the guys, one of y'all on my uh, live said the other day, Mary, why don't you use a pen nailer? This looks kind of complicated, but we're going to see. Okay. Uh, hmm. Don't be <laughs> over here. <laughs> y'all, there's some kind of way you're supposed to use this. Oh, I'm Mary's helper tonight, by the way, y'all. My name is Connie. I'm Connie's, her sister. Connie's helping me. And the doggies of being helpers tonight. Okay, y'all. Hmm. Kim said these are really good paint party ideas. They are good paint party ideas because she's gonna run in here oh, right I'm quick. <laughs> Poor Bruce. Hey, Yo, Bruce, she's been working on all kinds of different signs, and some of these, y'all. I think y'all have seen some of them. I don't know that you've seen them all. So Here, she's already back. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to be doing this party. In fact, I think this is one of we're listing right now. This party is going to include right? the choice of this, this, or you could do one of these ceramics. So let's say you, the triple stack pumpkin is going to be um, 69 for the paint party. Let's say you don't want to do something quite that expensive. This one's going to be 49 Now, obviously, this one is smaller. That one's larger. Or we have your, um, what do you call this? A pumpkin with a witch hat for 39 It's a ceramic one, and it comes with a little tea light. So if you sign up for the paint party, there's it, I, I sectioned it out where you have to choose one of these. Okay? So that's the one, the, the little pumpkin with the witch hat. We have a gnome. It also has the little tea light. Those are so cute lit Aren't up. Cute? So mm -hmm. cute. Miss Debbie said she wants the boo sheet one. Oh, okay. Debbie knows me so well, y'all. We I, got so tickled I with that to, thing. I have to tell y'all this. Bruce is like, it's not that funny. It but is. I don't know why. I have laughed about this for like two weeks. Every time something bad would happen, I would text Missy or she would text me. This some boo this shoot. This some boo shoot, y'all. <laughs> Hi, Trisha. Up for the, I haven't created a party for this one yet, but I will. 
So when I saw this design, this is a design that I bought. I had to have it. It's probably one of the first things I made on my laser. And when people make me mad, which is generally about a hundred times a day, <laughs> I say, y'all, this is some bushy. And I laugh so hard every time I would say that. And Bruce is like, it's really not that funny. And I'm like, it hey, was, it we was thought funny. it was. So this is one of the parties that we'll be doing. Hey, do we also want to uh, demonstrate our truck? Oh yeah, this is a good time to demonstrate the truck. While we're now, waiting for Bruce. Poor Bruce, Bruce he didn't know me, we were going to abscond him. Okay. okay. Now, I also just created a listing uh, for the seven interchangeable door hanger truck party. So basically this is a 22 inch round. We're going to have this party on August the 20th at two in the afternoon. When you get there, the, the white round with the bow is already done. Because if not, we'll be there for hours. Hi, Veronica. What you would paint is your truck and your inserts. Now, because fall's coming, I have my pumpkin up there. But you'll get different inserts. Did you tell us how much this was? I'm sorry if this, I missed yeah, it. This one's 59. I don't okay. think I said that. Okay. Okay. So this one's 59, and you get seven inserts. Of course, you get the round, the word welcome, and you'll get your uh, bow. And so you get inserts based on seasons or holidays. So this would obviously Easter. be for Easter. And then we have one for... Fourth of July. July. Some stars. We have one for winter, although we don't get snow here in Texas. We sometimes wish we did. Right. Okay, so that's one of your inserts. Snowman. And y'all, I did this design uh, with nothing poorly but sponge painting. Is all I did. And Valentine's I love the hearts. I know. I love them. And then, of course, you could use this one for fall or Thanksgiving. <laughs> and so that one is for, that's on August the 20th at 2 o'clock. Hi, Virginia. Yeah. Kim said she had trouble getting people to sign up for her truck party. Do you have any advice or anything? Uh, I'm not sure, Kim. That's probably the, the most popular party I've ever done. And Kim, how much were you charging? The other thing, Kim, you might uh, email me later. I think I did a video on those where I just did a quick video. I didn't talk. And I just showed them that you could do the inserts, and a lot of people responded to that. Because I noticed some of the pictures that we had in the beginning when we first started doing these, you really couldn't tell how yeah. big this thing was. Even yeah, as I'm big. looking through the camera lens, it really, really... Can you go stand back over there in a second? You really can't tell how big this thing is, but one, if you could get people to see how big it is, it's, it's really, morning, really so it is beautiful. Yeah. And that's on August the 20th. And yeah. Angelica wants to know how she orders and picks up at the store. Angelica, are you talking about the truck? Is she talking about the blanks? That, if she's talking about the blanks, Angelica, I've got to list them. And then once I list them, I'll post it and you can order them online and drive by and pick them up. And then this truck is actually going to be a paint party. Yeah, and you said August? Paint, yeah, August 20th paint party. At Hi, four, Cindy. At 2 o'clock. Okay. And so you get a 22 inch hanger and then of course all of your different inserts that I showed earlier. That's on August the 20th. And these are easy to paint. So very, if you're a beginner with us and you aren't very confident yet, these are easy to paint. Everything we're showing you tonight is easy to paint. Okay, y'all. Uh, I think Bruce is in the shower or he's giving me the brush off. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Yeah. I'll put this up here. Well, let me hold it first, just so you can kind of see the scale of how big it is. I think this one is 29 inches tall and it's very easy to paint. And uh, if you don't want the inserts, then you wouldn't do that. You, you can leave those off. And you, there's a lot of different things you can do with this. But we had a prank party Raina. at the store one day this week. I think it was Wednesday. And the ladies just had a great time. It was fun. And what I showed them how to do is all their inserts and dots, they painted with a sponge. The only thing they used a brush for was the base. Angelica is asking about the blanks, and so you'll list them sometime I'll next week. I'm hoping, hoping Angelica sometime this coming week, and um, just to give you. An and then idea. you can order them online when she and you does. You can order them online. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So if you want to come to the August 27th party, which is at two o'clock, you can choose this one, or this one, or this one, or this one, or. Either one of these. These are the same. I, Victoria, I think, painted one of them and I painted the other. But they're the same item. So this one is 39. This one is 39. 
This one is, these, either one of these is 59, 49, 69. So, Miss Debbie said to book soon on the truck. Yes. The ladies from the paint party are probably going to sign yes. up for the truck. Well, the, the uh, interchangeable truck is the, my most popular party. And one of the reasons we decided to get a bigger laser, we had a smaller one, was we just could not do this party very often because of the fact that our laser was slow. Part of the reason we got a bigger, faster laser was parties like do this. Do you want to take this and go in yeah. closer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take the camera from Connie, and I'm just going to kind of get up here and let you see. All right, so this is our door hanger. It, I will do a two-tone bow out of whatever ribbon I have that's similar to this, y'all. The ribbon whole thing is just hard because sometimes they have it in stock and sometimes they don't. So these are our inserts. You got snowman, pumpkin, heart, tree, leaves, eggs and stars so back up a little bit that's the interchangeable truck How party pretty. it's beautiful isn't it that's so pretty. okay and so then the next one we're going to go to is what i just demonstrated for y'all tonight how easy it is to paint it's called the uh, triple stack pumpkin these are um what i think of as a 3d project and so, well really this one is too because you've got you got two different layers going here of course you would paint it any you know whatever desired look you have love the little gnome for 39 dollars. he's really cute i last year we had a lot of people paint this gnome in halloween theme oh, but i didn't have a halloween theme gnome i don't think i painted it in that he comes with a tea light okay now this little guy has been a real popular little guy for us and he also comes with a tea light and the hayride sign i have to say is probably my, one of my favorites it's just the fact that it's a simple sign but it's got so much message to it if you will and uh, it's 49 and it will come with a rope this is designed to be a shelf sitter so it's got a base so this will sit on a shelf of course this is a hanger so it'll come with a rope and this one will come with a rope now let's take a look at our ceramic tree i think I can't remember if I painted this one or if Victoria did. And um, it comes with these little purple and orange, whatever you call them. Try to get it. They're not, this part is not lit, but it does have a light in it. And it, because my room is so brightly lit, you can't see. But if I were to turn off the lights, you would really see these. Uh, you want to turn off the light real quick? Just stand there for a second. Connie's going to turn off the light just so you can see how it looks in the in the dark. But these two on the top, uh, Connie, you have to go do it over okay. there. You have to go in there where that light switches. And so this is a, a ceramic tree. Now this tall tree is about 12 inches. Thank you, Connie, that's awesome. Okay, so let me back up. So look at our ceramic tree. That's the one we painted green, We've got a pumpkin head. And here's our purple tree, ceramic. Here's our little guy, and he is a really cute pumpkin with a witch hat, and our gnome, okay? And then we have our triple stack pumpkin, and then we have our welcome sign with seven interchangeables. Con, if you wanna go ahead and turn the light back on, and then I'll show them a few other things, and then we'll stop. But it looks really pretty at night, y'all. All right, show you a couple of things. I'm gonna give this back to her. Okay. Yeah. You got to show that one again. Miss Debbie, we're gonna show your favorite one again. Okay, I have to show it again, but we're fixing to, we'll be done for the night. This is so bushy, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> I love this one. Okay, now one of my other favorites that I really like, and these are about the same size, one's a little bit bigger. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Each one of these is 49. We have not set them up as lights yet, but we will, and we've not set up a party yet, but these will be in September. So we got a lot of different projects. And Miss Nan would like to know, what do you seal the ceramics with? Oh, uh, Nan, I really don't seal them. So if you want a glossy look, you could- uh, That crystal? Hold on a minute, let me show her right quick. 
There's two things I've played with, man, that I would like. And I haven't, I don't have one here. This one. Okay. Come on, back over here. Okay. Now, that's a good question. Hi, Kathy. You can put some of this on there if you want on the outside. Just spray it, and it'll give it that glossy look. I'm not brand particular, but whatever you can find with the supply chain being the way it is. Mm -hmm. uh, now, this is something I've really worked with a lot the last week, and I really like. It's hard to find because every store you go to, they're out of them. Glitter I'm going to show you. It's a, called a Glitter Blast. Glitter Blast. Mm -hmm. bad, I'll show you the effect. I have used it on this, and I really like it. So, Glitter Blast. Here's what I learned about Glitter Blast. If you use this, excuse me. So, let's pretend this is your project. And you do not want to do this, not for glitter blast. You want to do this. I would say hold it at least two feet away from your project because it'll broadcast it where you, that's the way you want it. So this is what glitter <gasps> blast does. Oh, how pretty. I've got a lot of Christmas sleds that I'm working on. So if you look at this, I don't know if the camera really shows it. I put glitter blast, let me think Can what I did. Move it a little bit? Uh -huh. Can you move it and let me yeah. see if I can catch this sparkle? Yeah. I think I did. I think I did the glitter blast at the very end. I, before I put the rails on, I finished this whole project, and then I held this glitter blast way the heck out here. You do not want to hold it right here, and this is expensive. I think it was ten dollars a can. It's not cheap, but you can tell by the look that you get. It gives you a very fine mist. And I really do like the Glitter Blast. I'll be using that a lot at the paint parties for Christmas, is the Glitter Blast. But I'll, I'm gonna tell you right now, I've gotta get on the horn and find it because it's not easy to find. So, Hi, Carolyn. Uh, here's uh, some of our circle. We've got a candy crew. We'll be doing this one in September. Candy crew and scare squad. <laughs> and they come with the rope and they come with the hangers. And these are 20 inch circles. And the paint party when we get there will be 49. And they're easy to paint. And we're not going to sell these. They're only in the paint party as blanks. Is yes. that right? Paint party or blanks. I don't have enough bandwidth, y'all, to sell them. I have too many irons in the fire. Miss Debbie loves them. I think they're just super duper cute. Now, I went, I haven't set the party up for this one. So does Miss Paula. But I love these. This one in particular is very, very classic. Where uh, these are more cutesy and uh, bright and colorful and whimsical. This is more classic. I can see this sitting on top of someone's fireplace. Uh, I like it when I do it right here. On a bell of hay or something like that. And you'll have a party with that one? I'll have a party with this one. It'll be in September. Okay. Now, obviously on this one, there's not much painting. It's like not. if you come to a paint party on this one, probably you'll sit around and drink a lot because you won't have a whole lot of painting. There's not a whole lot to it. The, there's more classic ones up there yeah. too. Yeah. I don't well, know if y'all can see them. Tell me if you can see them. It's a whole lot of work, y'all, that we have uh, been working on, as you can tell. Hold on, I'll come over here. I worked, I wanted to do sleds last year and I couldn't ha get it done because I just had too much Ms. Kathy going. said she needs that pumpkin. Which one? Yes, yes. I think the oh, big one. Yes. Y'all look at the sleds, it. how beautiful they are. I'll be doing how a lot pretty. of parties probably in uh, mid-October on, on Christmas. And these are sleds. I really don't know how tall they are, but anyway. They're pretty, they're pretty size. I, I, I can't, you pretty can tell by looking right here. I try to go with different colors. Of course, you you know, when you come to the party, if you buy the blank, you can do Hi, Mary Kay. You but I love, if you look at this from the side, it just has that 3D effect. And it's so easy to paint. I mean, seriously, I used white sponge on this. The only thing I did that I might be a little hard is a little bit of shading right here, and that's it. That, that's all that I but did. But we can show you how to do it at the oh, paint yeah, party the with party. no problem. We'll be showing you how to do that. Now this is probably my favorite sled, this one. Just because it's very, um, I don't know, traditional maybe is the word. And Christmas wishes mistletoe kisses. I do too. Joanne Priest said she loves You this. like this one? I, you know what so I think Mary makes Kay. this one is the, this is that beard blue shading that I did 
There is something about that beard blue that is just, when you shade it for Christmas on a Christmas piece, it's gorgeous. Hi, Elma. It is just gorgeous. So. And can you turn that one to the side and let's see the 3D? So you can kind of see how, and let me, once you're done with that, I'll show them the back. Okay. So the back, Bruce built these for me. Um, hold on, let me put that down. These are just uh, one, one by twos he cut down. <clears throat> I cut this on the laser, my my runners is what I call it. That's two American. And Bruce built this for me. And so what I did is I just, of course I painted my back and I did all my pieces. Paula and Victoria and some other folks came over and helped me because I was getting so, so That's overwhelmed. That's two Rena. And um, Hi, Sylvia. then you just kind of glue them down. It's not hard. So every blank that they buy will have those boards that are on the back. It does. Um, the thing about it is I don't know if they'll be assembled for shipping or unassembled. Okay. So let's say, and that's Bruce's department, y'all. He's the one that packs these. If he thinks and he assembles these and they're going to get damaged during shipping, he will not assemble them. Y'all, he drove for UPS for 27 years, so he has a pretty good idea. But if you yes, happen, Misty. Yeah, if and you or happen only. to get them unassembled, we will do a video, of course, showing you exactly what to do. I have a feeling he's going to want to send them out not assembled because when you look at these, I think what he's going to say is he's worried about this one getting, these getting, uh, and the package would have to be four inches deep and these getting messed up. But if they come to the store, they'll definitely be assembled? Yeah, at the store, okay. in fact, we already have some, he started building some the other day because I, I, I had a feeling that people were going to like slice, so I said start building. Hi, Toilin. Anyway, so if you come to the store, they'll be assembled. But that's what they look like on the back. Misty wants you to touch on whether these are only indoor. Oh, Can they oh, put these question. on their porch? Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you straight up, and I and there'll be people that'll tell you what you want to hear, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. These are indoor okay. products. You might get away with it on your front porch if if big if there is no direct condensation, water, rain, snow, sleet, anything wet touches them. Nothing and maybe for one it. season, but the next season no, you come no, water. no. no water gotcha. touches these. It just, it is not going to go. And there'll be people out there that will swear to you up and down, MDF is fine. It's not. Not in the wet, not in the rain. If you can put this under a covered porch, say near your front door where there's no rain, you're, you're going to be fine. But if not, inside only. Definitely not in the yard where it's going to get rain. So I think Debbie was saying she likes this one. And I'll be honest, y'all, when I was doing this one, it was really hard for me to get excited about it because I felt I could not figure out why the colors just didn't seem good. And so I stopped what I was doing. I went to the store, came back. I told Bruce, I said, this is a glitter blast. And this is to me what makes this project pretty. Now, Mary Kay, which round one? I think she's talking about the pumpkin. Mary Kay wanted to know if you're doing uh, a class on the round behind Mary. So Mary Kay, which one were you asking about? The round pumpkin, the triple stack? Yeah, we have a party on that. Okay. Yeah. That is one of the links that Ashley or Debbie posted. That and one. Ashley's still posting She's them. Still they posting. both are still posting okay. them. And now, obviously, the Christmas stuff we have not scheduled. We will be scheduling on these. Um, we'll, we'll start in September, but the parties won't probably happen until October. I don't know how it's going to go. I anticipate the sled parties filling up real quick. Uh, but I could be wrong. But I, I don't think I am on that. But you never know. But if you happen to buy this as a blank, I will not include the glitter blast, okay? If you come to the party, obviously I will. But if you buy it as a blank, make sure you get this. She's asking about the mistletoe one. Oh, yes. That's this one. Up here, I think, is what she's talking about. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know if I get that down or not. Hi, Allison. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. Yes, this one will be as one of our Christmas parties. This is almost the same as one of those sleds, y'all. But it's just done as a round. Okay. The other thing, and maybe y'all can help me decide because I like to hear what y'all think. I thought about taking the glitter blast and doing that on this one, mm -hmm. but I couldn't make up my mind. So y'all tell me, do you think I should spray this with glitter blast on this one so I would have the same effect? I do. Hi, Larry. Mm -hmm. 
I do because I lo I love the sparkle, y'all. Like now y'all may okay. be more conservative and you're not as as crazy about the sparkle. Me, should I put glitter blast on here or not? I'm not sure. I'm gonna go with it. I may make another one and do it, but I'm gonna see what everybody says. But the glitter blast is is what gives it that fine spray. So thanks for joining us. Raina, Raina would like for, to know where we're at. We are at 1705 East Broadway Street in Pearland, Texas. That means we're on 518. 518 and Broadway in the same street. We're down on the Friendswood side. Can't miss us. Right near Dixie Farm Road in 518. Yard Art R S. Yeah. Dot com. So, Connie has been a super, super great camera person today. I she ain't that her. picky, y'all. <laughs> I could not have done it without her. Hi, Dean. <laughs> so, y'all sign up for the party if that's something you want to do. Uh, look out for blanks. I'll be uh, listing those for you know for those that live far and wide. Not you're not close to us, and you want to buy the blanks, or you're close to us and you do want to buy the blanks. And uh, comment and say, Mary, yes to the glitter blast. Mary, no to the glitter blast on this one. I'm gonna give Connie a few minutes, and she can kind of get that angle. Thank you so much for joining us, y'all. We really did have fun. It's fun being with y'all. I'm gonna hold these up. Miss <laughs> Paula. Miss Paula said yes to Connie. Ah, Yay for Kong Kong. She knows. She knows. How <laughs> pretty are these? I love the red. Christmas to me is all about the red. I love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Hey, y'all have fun. Have a good evening. You know, come, I love come Miss to a Miss Debbie. Party with us. I'll be on this week doing all kinds of painting, y'all. Now that y'all y'all know what I've been doing. Now that you see all this, you can tell what I've been doing. Sitting around twiddling my thumbs. Mm, surely <laughs> is. Bye, Raina. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, everybody. We hope y'all have a good night. Y'all have a good one. Okay, bye-bye.